So, so yesterday you guys started the process of creating your staff profile for the website as well as you were tasked with setting up uh, interviews with three people that are not enrolled in journalism to feature in our Humans of HHS um, feature page on our website, which you can take a look at if you go to hhsadvocate.com and then if you go under features, there should be a drop down menu, Humans of HHS. So. We have some things in motion right now that are not due yet. So Ms. Gerst, what are we doing today? Well, I thought to kind of wrap up our discussion of photography, that we would take the opportunity to look at some of the Pulitzer Prize winning photographers and some advice that they have to give us. Um, what you're gonna be provided with is a link to this website. And there's gonna be some advice that individual photographers give along with a featured picture from some of their work that won them the Pulitzer Prize. I chose ones not from breaking news, but from feature photography. And they're pretty powerful in, in various ways. Um, that is the task to complete, whether you're in class or at home, but that's not the only thing you should be doing today. I wanna to remind you of some of the ongoing tasks that are gonna be due tomorrow on Wednesday, September 30th. You guys need to email me a professional headshot. I'm putting quotes professional, not because you're taking a picture that someone, a professional photographer took of you, but just a picture that looks professional of yourself. You're gonna take it horizontal or landscape, um, I attached an example for reference yesterday, I'll attach it again to the posting today, that we can feature along with your staff profile. And what you'll see is just like with students in previous years, all the work that you do for the Devil's Advocate this year will be linked and it'll be right by your staff profile. I can show you this example here. So these were all of Israel's uh, uh, tasks he did that we have linked and this was his web profile. I'm looking for a picture here and I don't want to take it in school because I don't want you to have to have a mask one. Um, to go back here, yesterday I had asked you to reach out to three classmates who are not enrolled in journalism that were willing to participate in the Humans of HHS feature page. This is an example of what they look like. For each participant, you're gonna email or interview them using three different questions from the list provided. Nobody should get the same questions. So three for this guy, three different ones for this girl, three different ones for this girl. And this will be due by Wednesday, okay? And I'm gonna, tomorrow's work is going to show you how to upload these and submit them to the website. You're gonna ask those folks to um, send you a horizontal or landscape photograph of themselves or make arrangements to take a photo yourself in a safe, socially distant manner. You cannot just take pictures off their social media accounts. If they choose to give that to you, that's one thing. But ethically speaking, you don't wanna take anything um, that you do not have permission to use. Um, you also want to ensure that it's just focusing kind of on their face for the most part. Um, I mean, arguably, if it's a little different, that's okay, but I don't want them in a crowd of people. That doesn't make sense for the purposes of highlighting individual members of our school community. All right, tomorrow you will learn how to uh, access the website, hhsadvocate.com, and um, you will also get the opportunity to learn how to post the Humans of HHS profiles. Okay, that's all for now.